So in order to do this move, man, you have to basically control. Now, I've been off of fighting games for a while. So it's going to take me a while to get back into the repetition of actually doing. The good thing is my muscle memory is still there. So it's not going to take a long time for me to actually get back in the groove of actually doing it. It's the fact that I just got to get that point to where, guess what? I start feeling that time whenever I uh, do a command and stuff like that, input. So we're going to actually do his level five. This is Luke right here, new character. Everybody done seen him. I get it. Uh, but for my older guys that's trying to get into Street Fighter, this is uh, for my older guys. I mean, youngsters, I get it. You, you play the game 24-7. Uh, much respect for you, but some of us don't really get a chance What's to play up? the game that much. So this is for those guys itself. So we're playing with a hitbox. The hitbox is actually my preference. Um, I actually prefer a hitbox over a controller. I used to play with a, a joystick at one time, but I stopped doing it. So let's let's sit here and try to accomplish this level five i've already accomplished it right so the main thing that with this hitbox is if you you notice i'm going back on the controller right i'm going back you do notice that right so if i press forward it's gonna stop so forward has dominance over back all right back input if i press up up has dominance over both of the input support in the back. All right, so if I press down and I press all of them, up still have dominance. So we know that up is the dominant. So in order for me to sit here and make sure we're gonna have a uh, back uh, kick counter with the crouching medium, and instead of us doing just a regular punch, which actually reaches out and it stands, we're gonna do Take this, which is back back uh medium punch and then we'll go into this so it'll, it'll look something like this so it looked like something like that so uh let's get into it you do not have to a lot of people be thinking that you have to have good reaction time reaction time that stuff does don't matter man as long as you learn how to repetition just in repetition anything you're programming your brain to actually do the right thing and make the make the right inputs it has nothing to do with you being young so do not discourage yourself because you're older and you feel as though you've lost uh lost some reaction skills that stuff don't matter all right i'm 40 years old so that stuff don't matter trust me you got cats as pro that is still playing this game and at 40 years old 38 years old so it's all about practice, all right? So let's try it. It may take us a couple of times, but let's try it. All right? Well, we got it on the first time, right? So, I mean, it's not that hard. I don't know what this, you know, like, so don't get discouraged, man. When you play in these type of games, man, you're enjoying the game. You're not, you're not getting paid for this. Enjoy the game. Get an entertainment out of it. Have some fun. Relax. And then guess what? Enjoy it. Even if you lose, learn from it. Watch the replays and learn from it. I just wanted to share that, guys, with you. All right, so we're going to try this. We're going to try number six now. We're going to go with number six. We're going to see if we can get it. So we're going to do this. That right, didn't come out that time. Let's try it again. Right. So I'm going to let go. I'm... What I'm doing, I'm trying to break myself from repetitionally doing the same move over and over and over, and my hand is getting set to doing it wrong. So I'm gonna take my time when I do this thing. There you go. Take your time and you get back in it. Don't get frustrated, just calm down and you'll be straight. All right, we're gonna get this. We're about to get this right here. We're going on going and trunk this. There we go. I got to get used to that's gonna be a hindrance. If I don't, if I can't get that down pack, I'm gonna fail the match. It's gonna happen, or I might get lucky and win the match. So, all right. So this is the final one. Be honest, I am struggling with loot because I don't know how to properly do this. Alright, so let's let's get into it. Let's let's try it out. Hmm. 
So I guess when you do this. Okay. That's right. There we go. That's it right there. So, I figured it out. You have to be at a certain distance. You just can't be real close. It's not going to work. It's not. It will not work whatsoever. So, you have to basically be at a certain distance when you do the heavy forward. And then you'll, you'll whiff hit him with the strong. And then you go into your V trigger. V skill. We have V trigger. And then after that, you go. They give you enough spacing because it's all about spacing. And, and I, I think I got him figured out. 